All right, hello everyone. Here we are, hole number nine. Now, there's a couple ways to go about doing this. Um, what I recommend here is going to be probably playing the safe, the safe shot. I'm, I'm assuming most guys in pro, you know, they're probably not going to have very advanced bags. And what you would probably want is probably a rock seven, rock eight, um, to per to potentially think about going left here. So what you're going to see me do, uh, we're pretty much going to just focus on going the safe way and going over toward the right hand side. Uh, with an extra mile, you don't want to be going for that left fairway. It's a death trap. Uh, one great ball will essentially put you in the rough and take you 100% out of the hole. So uh, not worth it to go over towards that uh, left hand fairway in the pro division, especially with the way that the wind's pointed too. You can see we're almost going to have a straighter tailwind if we just go over to this right hand side here. So I really recommend going to the right hand side. Um, we are going to use a Titan ball. Go back to the extra mile. You'll see I'm probably going to use plus 10 on this hole. It's usually between plus 5 plus 10. It's somewhere in that, you know, it's it definitely flies downhill. Um, additionally, you'll have to use the wind direction as well. So max number says four and a half. So I need to make sure, and it looks like I can go most of the, oh, no, no, no. I need to switch balls. I'm just going to change my power a little bit. So here you'll see very, very little power can be used. Oh, and the wind actually went down as well. So um, I would need to put in a new wind number. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'm just going to use kind of marginal, a little bit of power here. Kind of like this. <clears throat> and there you can see, safe. And it just rolls up into the fairway. So let's take a look here. That became what, six point, I forget the exact number, 6.7 maybe. So four rings down, more or less. So you can see with what I was doing with my overpower, being a little bit cautious, making sure. So. Let's take a look here. Um, this second shot, we're going to go with a sniper, pretty much back max backspin. If you can use five ball five bars, it's going to be even better. So if you have sniper eight, you're pretty much at an advantage over what I'm going to be able to show you. Uh, similarly, you know we can kind of crank it up and use a guardian uh, on this hole as well because it's going to kind of be very very challenging. Uh, to get this with a sniper. But here you can see that the wind, maybe somewhere in here, uh, we are going to be pulling away from max, so I need to make sure, you know, 75, 80% club, eight rings in the neighborhood of eight rings here. And as I mentioned, you know, it, it is going to be just a little bit tough here. So hopefully we can get this going. It looks like it hit the fairway and it actually kicked left. So when that's one of the hardest things for you to be able to do is kind of predict where that hop is going to be because you're playing wind effect. And if you hit the wrong surface, as you could see, you know, I wasn't trying to land on that fairway. I was trying to land much more towards the fringe green edge. And what you can see happen is it just deflects towards the left offline. Uh, those be the breaks, but uh, you can see, you know, especially with a straight wind, if, you know, especially if you can get that backspin up to five and a half bars, it's really going to give yourself a much better chance there uh, to be able to uh, get that one for an albatross. Uh, if you can land that second hop right on the very front of the green, you're going to get the most uh, consistent bounces. So try to get that second hop right onto the front and just slow roll into the cup. 
So good luck there, guys, and I will see you guys next time for some more guys. Let me know how your tournaments go, and uh, you know, feel free to uh, you know check out the expert guides as well. As uh, you know, you're definitely going to be able to get better rewards playing for those apoc cards and cat cards stuff like that. So do keep that in mind. Good luck, and uh, see you guys next time.